Do you find yourself working in the evening, on the weekends, and even on holidays and vacations? You have to turn work off. If you don't, you will keep finding your thoughts moving back to what you have to do in your non-work hours. Let's dive into how you got here and what to do instead. Hi, my name is Lisa Gornell. As a spiritual medium and energy strategist, I spent a lot of my career overworking. I've worked in corporate and five-star spas, and I'm an entrepreneur. I found myself overworking in every single one of my jobs. And I'm sure you've heard me say this before, but I pushed myself to overwork twice in my career because once wasn't enough. <laughs> now I consider myself a, a successful high performer and I guide other high performers to be this as well. How do we get you to be one too? You have to turn work off and stop thinking about it. So first we have to dig into why you're overworking. This is what I call your success wound. Your success wound is your endless inner drive to make more, do more, be more, 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 more. And over the last five years, I've written articles, I've done podcasts and videos to help you heal your success wound. I'll give you a link at the end to my most recent success wound video to help you start to recognize where your endless inner drive is for you. It's one of three things. You're proving I am worthy, I am enough, or I am love. And it can be one thing or any combination of these things that is ready to be addressed and healed. Second, we have to dig into why it's important to stop overworking, right? As a high performer, you have to have your why defined. If you don't have anything else to do, your default is going to be work. And while you enjoy getting things done, and some of you absolutely love, love, love your work, you are still here for more than your work. You have to recharge so you don't burn out. You're not a machine. Even if you love your work, you're still spending over 100% of your energy there each day. That means that you're going to start the next day with less than 100% energy. This continues on and on and on. All right? Block time on your schedule for you to play and recharge, to enjoy this life you've been so busy creating. Find a new hobby that's exciting for you, something that you're not going to want to work through. Because as a high performer, if you're just sitting around idly, your mind is going to go back to work. So in order to stop that, we have to find something else for you to do. Now, we don't want to take this new hobby or something exciting for you to do and, and create it into some sort of a new work habit. So you want to find different things to do, like maybe you start yoga, maybe you start rowing or kayaking or hiking, but you're not just doing the same thing every single day. You don't want to turn this into a job either. You want this to be your play and you want this to be fun. Okay. You also want to be present for your relationships. Who nags and tells you to stop working? I know that you guys have them. I've seen them, especially when I used to work in the spas and do the meditations. They're telling you this is a problem. Listen, don't be agitated. Don't be irritated. Be grateful that they want to spend time with you and they're telling you that you're working too much. Okay? Block out time in your schedule and actually keep that block time out and make that time to spend with people that give you energy that do fun things with you and make you happy. Because you're here for more than your work, no one says on their deathbed, I'm so glad I overworked. I'm so glad I spent all those years working so hard. I'm so glad I worked through all those events. Nobody says that. <laughs> Instead, they talk about what they missed out on by working so much. Don't do that to yourself. Even if you're an entrepreneur, you're only paid to work so many hours. Work the hours you're supposed to work and then stop. And then you have your whys to stop working. But how do you stop overworking and thinking about work? I just did a video on this, so I'll give you the link to this at the end of this video with the success wound video. But you want to have a ritual at the end of your workday. So look at your calendar for today. Anything you didn't complete, easily just move it to another day. Don't do it more tonight. Don't try to cram it in tomorrow morning. Just find another spot on your calendar and move it to there. And now look at your calendar for tomorrow. How does it look? 
Is it overpacked? Are you going to have the same situation where you're not going to get things done? Do you have any changes that you need to make? Do you have anything that you want to add from today to tomorrow? Is there any scheduling that needs to shift or change based upon how you got things done today and what you're going to get done tomorrow? And then once you've looked at your schedule, you're going to say, my workday is done. It is done. And if you need to like do this motion with your hand, I want you to do it because it's like you're, you're pulling that work energy out of you. My workday is done. It is complete. Everything will get done at the perfect time. And now it is time for me to recharge. And then I want you to imagine that you're just letting go of work. Think about whatever's on your plate, all the things you have to do, anything that's weighing on you. And I want you to let it go. It has no place for you as you go into your personal life. And then you're going to bring in the white light. You're going to bring that in from the top of your head. Let it go through your body, down into your feet, into the earth. And even as you drive home or if you're working from home, you know, go for a short walk, change the pace. But if you're driving home, you're just going to let anything from work disappear out the windows as you drive. And if you go on a walk, you're going to let anything from work go as you go on the walk. Okay? It's important to change the scenery from work so that you can shift your energy. And then if you are driving home from work, feel free to still go ahead and do a short walk when you get home after your drive. But the purpose of all this is to be intentional in letting go of all that work stress so you don't carry it over into your personal time. Because that work stress is what's adding to you being like, I need to get this done, I have to get this done. As a high performer, you don't like to not have things done. But you can only do so much and you need to recognize that and let that go so that way you can move into your personal lifetime. And then as you move into your lifetime of your work-life balance, what do you want to do with the rest of the day? If you have nothing planned, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to work, okay? We don't want that. So some things you can do at the end of the workday. You can go exercise, whatever that means for you, whatever's fun, whatever's exciting. I know different seasons have different things. What can you do to exercise? What can you do to move your body, right? If you're sitting at a chair all day long, that's not good for your body. What exercise can you do? Perhaps you can make plans to meet someone for dinner, right? Maybe you can do some sort of playing. Maybe you can meet some friends to do some sort of activity, or maybe you go watch a play. You can go do something that's fun for you, and you can read a book. I just don't highly recommend that because a lot of high performers love to just get into those books and escape their reality. We're not trying to escape anything. What we're really trying to do is create something that's fun for you to do, something else that you're looking forward to do, something that you're like, no, I can't work right now because I'm doing this instead, okay? And really, there is no limit to what you can do here as long as it's not work-related. If you like this video, let me know by liking it, and I invite you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video released. For next videos to watch, I highly recommend what is your success wound driving you to prove at work? And energy clearing, how to heal your success wound. Remember, you are here for more than your work. You absolutely have the power to stop working and stop thinking about work. You have a life to live.